Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We're playing more Breath of Fire 3. What a week. Hello. What's going on? Hello. So, we left off in Central Windia, where we were taken to this weird arena place, whatever, by Balio and Sunder. But we made our escape. So let's get the hell out of here before they find us. To Mount Bomore we go. Now, off screen, I did a little bit of fishing. And as I'll show you here in a second, I leveled up a little bit. Nina is level 9, very close to level 10, or should be hitting level 10 very soon. Um, did she get any new abilities? I don't remember. Yes, she got Blunt, which is a pretty neat assist ability. Lowers a, a enemy's um, attack power. And she also got Simoon, which you already know what that is. You've seen it. And that's about it. Uh, Dario got a few levels, nothing too spectacular. And let's continue on. Now, hopefully, I'm going to try to show off Dario's uh, gene ability in this episode, where he can turn into a dragon. And actually, I think this is a... Uh, I think this might be a good time to... Eh, well... No, I can't say that. But anyways, we have a new enemy here, the Nut Archer. Now, it's not a new enemy. T it doesn't look like it's a new enemy. It has a health bar. And the reason for that is because I actually... Uh, did a when I did a off-screen leveling, I actually did it over here in this mountain, so I already ran into him. So while I saw him off-screen, you didn't get to see him, so... Nothing too special for him. He does one attack that's ma that hurts a lot, though, called Deadly Blow. And that pretty much almost one-shots Nina. So leveling was kind of a pain in the ass off-screen, honestly. Because Nina kept dying a lot, and I don't want her to die. I have her stone on, I could unequip it, but I don't want to waste her soul stone this early in the game, you know? So, whatever, it is what it is. We're on the mountain here, and, um, we're, as you can, as you just saw there, quite a few, little bit of experience needed to, to level up, but we'll get there. So here we got a treasure chest, if we can get to it without running into more battles. Ah, just another nut troop. The good thing about these uh, stupid guys is that you attack them once and they're pretty much dead. However, they have an amazing dodge ability, which is outrageous. Like, there you go. Dario hit him. 81, a little excessive. They only have, like, 6 HP. But, whatever. Okay, over here we get another Panacea. The Pancreas. I call it Pancreas. It's Panacea. Matt Malencia. Panacea, yeah. <sighs> okay, here we have another new enemy, the Gongur. And uh, these guys are nasty because they cast Poison Breath. And Poison Breath, obviously, it will hit everybody in my party. Well, here you go. Actually, it's Venom Breath. Here you go. Here's what it does. Yeah, uh, it missed both, thank God. But normally, it has a chance of poisoning one or both party members, so it's definitely pretty frustrating. Don't worry, though, because I'm the best! Yay! Alright, um, there's one more treasure chest we have to get that's kind of important here. Uh, let's just kill this guy real quick. I don't remember where this treasure chest is, though. I think... Actually, I do remember where it is. Hmm. Maybe we need to get back to editing out some of these battles. Battles, eh? Battles. I just... I'm lazy sometimes, you know? I don't feel like doing all this editing. What can I say? I'm sorry. Alright, up the ladder we go. Hurry up, Nina, you slow... Slow as baderp derp. Alright, don't talk to any of those guys yet. What you're gonna want to do here is... Well... I will never be able to show you because there's battles left and right. The Gongers! Ah! I always found it kind of funny that um, whenever you you jump into a battle in this game, that anybody, any other sprites around the battle just disappear. Oh, God. Now, both of them are poison. This is why I hate the poison breath. It's such a pain in the ass. Goodness gracious. Kill it. God. Now, the worst part is the battle's over. They're still poisoned. So I gotta go into my menu... I gotta go to abilities. Dario luckily has Purify, but I gotta waste so much freaking magic just to heal, cure poison. It's it's frustrating. 
Might as well heal up. Why not? Waste half of his magic on one battle. And that's typical. Okay, so what we want to do here is jump down. And this is the other treasure chest I was talking about with a buckler, which we can equip right away on Dario, I believe. Let's see. And it's not bad. 43 to 52. Lose another agility. How about for um, Nina? I think it might be better for Nina. Nina does need defense. You know what? I'm going to give it to Nina. And Nina now has almost as much defense as Dario. Her agility did go up down by one, but it's not a big deal. All right, now we just got to head back up. All the way back up. All the freaking way back up. Almost there. No, we're not. All right, I think I'm going to show off. Let's see what battle we have here. Yep, Nut Archer. I'm going to show off. Dario's Ascension. A long time coming, eh? Attack. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, ability. Ascension. It costs zero magic to cast. And then you get to choose from a gene. Um, now, we only have one type of dragon, which is flame. So this gives me the flame dragon. As you can see, there's a million slots, so you can actually obtain a lot of them throughout the game. But, well, we have his flame now, so let's check it out! Dario turns into... Come on, Dario, any day now. He's a dragon, and he's pissed! He's pissed. Now, his abilities. Well, Breath, you've seen that in the beginning of the game. Blinds, you can cast blind. Flame Breath... Damage Alter by HP, Flame Claw, and then Restore Form. All of this does not cost magic. However, every turn, you burn through magic to just stay in Dragon Form. So that's the catch. Let's do a Flame Claw and see what kind of damage it does. If we get to. We should get to. Because we keep missing. Yay. Here we go. Flame Claw. Oh my god, it hit him for 86. That's overpowered. Wait until you see me use it during boss fights later. But that's basically the the gist of uh, Dario's dragon form. And that's just his flame property, so... Definitely more to come. What are you kids doing up here in the mountains like this? I don't know! So guys, I might be starting a new Let's Play today, I'm not sure yet, I haven't recorded it, so if I do, I'll decide. I'm still deciding between, it's the same type of game, um, but I'm deciding between either Part 2 or Part 3 of it. Part 3 would be a blind one, Part 2 would be considered one of my favorite Sega Genesis games of all time, so I'm not sure yet which one I'm doing, I'll decide within the next like 30 minutes I guess. Anyways, these nice little strangers took us in. We're trying to get away from the bad men chasing us. We're telling them our story, and they they genuinely seem like uh, friendly people, right? Right? Who exactly is that chasing you now, little girl? Of course, Nina can't keep her mouth shut. You know, she's got to um, pretty much give everything away. Balio and Sunder are chasing us, of course. These two men know who they are. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah. Nina, Nina, Nina. Do you know them? I wouldn't worry about them. Whoever they are, they won't come this far now, will they? Tomorrow! I love you! Tomorrow! Uh, uh, excuse me. Tomorrow, you'll take this lift and you'll be safe. You should get some sleep now. You can use the room over there. Thank you, thank you, sir. But first, I must steal your bent sword. Now I'm out of here. Ha ha ha! Let's go get some shed eye, shall we? It's a long day ahead of us tomorrow. We're lucky we found some nice people, huh, Dario? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then let's get some sleep. Are you awake? It's me, Dario! Okie dokie. Alright. What's going on? Huh? It's locked. Why would the door be locked? 
That's funny. I wonder what's going on. What's going on? Knock, knock. Mr. Mason, please open the door. Mr. Mason! I got them. Huh. This looks like we've been double-crossed, eh? Eh? Oh, yep, we've been double-crossed. You got them? Oh, my goodness gracious. We've freaking been double-crossed. Oh, no, Dario! The bad men who are after us are here! We've got to get out of here. We've got to get the lift to work. Go, go, go! Balio's here! Run! They... Damn horse guys just won't leave us alone. My phone's ringing. They found me. Oh my god, they found me. Oh my god, it's a 1-800 number. I don't have time to answer your 1-800 calls. Balio and Son, they're after me. Oh god. The lift panel. It looks like it uses Chrism Energy for power. Chrism Energy? I think we can get it to work. The deck. The de get in the lift now! Go, go! Hurry, don't worry, he'll be alright, I think, go! So, where are they? Oh wait, that's not his voice. I'm sorry, I'm a little hyper right now. <laughs> You'll live a long, happy life. That's great, man, that's great. You son of a... Oh god, here he comes, oh god. Forgive me, children. I just don't want any trouble. Prism energy is like magic. I don't care what it is. So if I hit this with my magic, we should move. When it starts to move, I'll jump in. Hurry. Oh god, we're too late. There you are, you pip squeaks. Ah, uh, princess, there you are. You're first. Boom! Yeah, Dario, go, go, go! Ouch! Finally, Dario steps up. It has to move. It'll move. Move! Prism energy. Oh, oh, something's going on. It's happening. What's happening? Get us out of here. You little. Now I'm angry! Uh-oh, here he comes. I'm, s I'm sorry. Oh, it's moving. Uh-oh, it's moving. If I don't press any button to continue the dialogue, it will stop moving. That's an amazing RPG feature. You ever notice that in other games? The amazing RPG feature. The game. The dialogue controls time itself. If I could just get the princess. Uh oh, she's screwed. Jump! Princess, come on! Oh my god. Oh my god, she's doomed. Oh, God! Dario to the rescue! Yeah, boy! Get her up before she falls. If she falls, she's dead. I can't believe it! Not again! <laughs> that looks like we got away, huh, Dario? Yeah, yeah, I'm huffing and puffing and blowing the house down, but we got away. See? I told you it would work. <laughs> Were you worried about me? Stop crying, Dario. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry, but I know that even if something went wrong, you do something to protect me, Dario. How do you know that? I'm. I just met you, woman. I don't know you. I'm just looking for Tipo and Ray. I mean, come on now. Ah, oh, man. So, how about that earthquake yesterday, people? Crazy, huh? Who would have ever thought that you would find an earthquake in Virginia? I know, I know they have ones, like, all the time, but it's like ones or twos. You know, you never feel them. And here we are, uh, you know, in 2011, supposedly the year before the end of the world, and, uh, and uh, we got earthquakes and shit. It's crazy. <laughs> I just moved back to New Jersey, so it's, it's pretty radical. And now we got that hurricane coming. Looks like it's going to grace Florida and head right up towards Virginia, New Jersey. Amazing. Yep, whatever. It is what it is, I guess, you know. I just do this stuff for fun. 
enjoy the game, ignore what's going on around me, and try to take everything day by day, you know what I mean? Yep. Ah, more battles as soon as we get off the lift. My god. It looks like we got a Tar Man and a Gunger. We'll start off by Simooning the Gunger and Frosting the Tar Man because the Tar Mans have no chance ever against this. Because when we cast Frost in him, he freezes over, and that's pretty much it. Venom Breath! Ah, poison! Ah, great, Nina's poison. Well, at least they were kind enough to give us all our AP back uh, while traveling through the lift, so I guess that's one positive, you know? Alright, let's kill the Gonger guy. Boom! Finish him off, Dario. Ugh. I said finish him off, Dario. Well, at least he's defending, but now I'm going to take more po unnecessary poison damage. Jesus. Kill it. Kill it. There you go. Now we just have the Tar Man left. We'll just attack his face off, basically. Keep attacking. Uh, poison. Kill it. There you go. 50 experience, more money, we, and we need a lot of money. As you, why is it, what the hell, why is Nina going so slow? What the hell? What, what's... Oh, I didn't realize, okay. I didn't realize that having this poison ailment on you actually slows you down, that's interesting. Well, I, learned, I just learned something new in the game. If you're poisoned, your characters travel slowly. Now, I always found this kind of weird. We're trying to get off the mountain, right? Well, in order to get off the mountain in this game, for some crazy reason, we gotta climb the mountain. Yeah, I don't understand that either, but whatever. Um, let's do a cyclone. And do that, and hopefully this will work. Nina, do it, do it. I don't like that nut archery. He hits hard. When he does, sometimes he does something called, like, Super blow, whatever it's called, and that thing hits like a truck. Where'd my cat go? Hey, I just realized my cat's not here. She was here earlier. Huh. Oh, there you are, kitty. Hi! You feeling better? She seemed like she was feeling a little sick earlier or whatever. But she seems fine now. Ah, a dead end. It's no use. We can't get down either way. Bingo! And look, it's worse than we thought. Worse than we thought. Look who's here. It's Sunder. How the hell did he get here so fast? I don't know. Where's Balio? I don't know. They never explain it. Give it up. There's nowhere left to run. Forget it, boy. I've got my men blocking all the trails down. There's no way out. You have, as they say, no escape. No escape. No escape. No escape, no escape, no escape, no escape. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what you think. We're gonna commit suicide. Let's go, Daniel. Jump! What? Jump! He's crazy. They're crazy. They're dead. Uh, oh no, you don't. If the princess dies, my brother will kill me. It's terrible. Oh my god. Yep. <sighs> We're all dead. But wait. No! The dragon power will save us from the fall. What do you think you're doing? Hmm. Dario? Huh? Dario! Please cue overly dramatic music. Dario! What should I do? If, if it meant being caught again, I would rather jump. But now, look what's happened to Dario. He went all BOOM! He went BOOM! Dario! I'm sorry! He's okay. See? Just a little patience, and he turns back into his normal boy self. But now it is revealed, finally, someone knows that Dario is a evil dragon. Well, I guess they already knew. Yeah, they already knew. 
Are you alright, Dario? <laughs> Balio and Sun that reveal that. Thank goodness. I thought... I thought you died! <sighs> Me? I'm okay, thank you. Because of you, I turned into a dragon and broke my fall from the evil monsters. Thank you. Thank you, Dario. I don't know how, but someday I will repay you. I will repay you, yo. We don't want them to catch us again. Now that we've gotten this far, right? Right, let's get the hell out of here. It's terrible. Alright, we've escaped yet again. Now, before I end the episode, there is one more thing I might as well get now while I'm here. And it's right here in this very easily to miss question mark area. And where is it? It's here somewhere. Here it is, a crystal. What the? There you go, here's the voice of the brute shield in the chrism. You found the reverse gene, yay! And basically, as I showed you with the dragon, what it is, it's another dragon form for Dario. He has now the flame form and the reverse form, which I'll show off eventually. Not right now, though. And if we head forward, looks like we have another fishing spot with what kind of fish? Big ones. Target fish, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, and a manillo. So there might be new stuff for us to get there. We'll have to definitely check that out. And check this new area out, the tower, in our next episode. This has been Dario8676 telling you what's going on. We'll see you guys next time. And more Breath of Fire 3 to come. Later, guys.